one of the things we've been wanting to do is to bring life to video. Kind of like video life or living video. And the what I mean by that is I want to invite you, you know, the viewer or whoever you are that's watching this video, to come into my home. You know, visit, sit down, relax, you know, sit back. Take it easy. <sighs> Enjoy yourself. Because really, that's what Jesus did. Jesus visited people in their home. He didn't go to the temple just to do his thing and get a lot of crowds because the crowds came outside of the city to visit him. When he was in the temple, as a matter of fact, he went to worship God and that was it. The temple for Jesus was just a place of worship and prayer. Nothing else. Where today we make it something else. But really, in the home was where God was at. And that's what I wanted to do with video life. Is to bring you into the home. And to begin to explain things. You know, you and I talk to each other. What we live at. How we live. The way we live. Whether it be beautiful. Unless, hey, that's the way you live, isn't it? And so you really can't hide anything from God. So we're not trying to hide anything on digital life. This is who we are, the way we are, as we are. And that's the way that I read my Bible. I read it where it is, the way it is, as it is. And that's the way you want digital life to be. So this will be more of a fun thing to do because, quite frankly, it's being done on a laptop, so there'll be a lot of traveling around and seeing all kinds of things that you might not normally have seen in the other types of videos, like my wife. Say hi, wife. Hi, wife. <laughs> so I'm kind of excited about this new idea of bringing video to life and to kind of relating where I'm at, what I do, how I do it, and who I do it with. You know, Jesus the Bible, relating things in a personal, intimate way, dealing with who we are, as we are, the way we are. Because that is how I live my life. It's always been like this. It will always be like this. I like to talk about Jesus. I like to share the Word of God. I like to explain things to people in a way that they might understand. And when they need something technical, I can get just as technical as any theologian and explain things and concepts that the reality of what other people may have said may not quite have gone on the person until they think it through. I've done a lot of thinking for years over some of these subjects. And some of the things that Jesus said, quite frankly, were easy to understand. But when you get into the religious aspect of it, Lots of times Christians tend to overgo and overblow or look over what the bottom line is when Jesus said it simply. Are you doing these things I said? If you are, you're blessed. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of God. A lot of what I relate saves people time because I always bring back to the reality of the fact that it is about relationships because that's what God said. God said that eternal life is relationship. And the way he said it was that this is eternal life, that they should know me and know him who sent me. And that's what eternal life for us is, a relationship with him who was speaking, which is Jesus, and knowing him who sent him, which is God our Father. That's what the Holy Spirit does. He opens up our ears to hear what the Spirit is saying to us. He opens up our eyes to be able to see and to read and to comprehend the Word of God. He opens up our heart to be able to use it in such a way to touch other people's lives with our hands. So we would minister those things that sometimes people need in a physical way. Because that which we've seen, that which we've heard, that which we can handle with our own hands, even the Word of God, the Word of life. And that's why life, video, is about living. It's about how are you choosing to live your life today? What are you going to do with the gift of life that you've been given? 
Are you making your house and your home a sanctuary for the Holy Spirit? Are you building inside of your flesh a temple of the Spirit of God? Are you causing those around you to be influenced by the Word of God? Because that's what makes the difference of being real life and just going through the motions every day. So video life, we hope to explain lots of things that maybe we wouldn't talk about in church. Maybe you don't like to talk about some of those topics that, you know, how we say the marriage bed is undefiled, you know, and God knows that everybody uses that excuse to get away with murder inside of marriage. Hey, we need to talk about that. There are some things that people are doing that, uh uh, you know better. And so video life is going to have a lot of topics and a lot of series of devotions and videos that bottom line deal with things that maybe it's better to talk about it in the home than it is to be talking about it in the pulpit. So here we are. This is video life. This is what we do. This is how we're going to relate to you, Jesus, in a personal, intimate way. So until we start that series, until we get it going, I just wanted to introduce this series. And myself, I'm Michael, you know, that was my wife, Lori, and we're just two people that happen to be Christians. Oh, sure, we're born again of the Spirit, and we have our hermeneutic and homiletic down, and we have all those theological premises and pred predicates and all those things that you always have to have someone explain to you and say, oh, what about them? Are they real, or are they true, or are they this, or are they that? I don't know. Ask God about it. Proverbs 2, 5, and 6 is my guide, you know, and... After that, I go to James 1 5. You know, if any man like wisdom, let him ask of God who braids the gospel, gives all men liberally. Quite frankly, we could go to, you know, like books and books and books and books, and I've read lots of books, but it's a lot easier to talk one to one where you live and where I live. 